I actually think recorded lectures will be definitely top priority for promoting UCC as an inclusive environment for students. As with chronic fatigue, the flexibility that online learning gave was amazing. With in-person lectures, if you missed one, if they didn't have it recorded, you were lost, unless your friends were really nice and gave you those notes. And unfortunately, I wasn't just after a night off and skiving off, you know? I had real legitimate reasons and I could be missing for up to a week. Most lecturers should try to understand that students, they come from different backgrounds and, you know, they, they, their location, doing lectures, at home might vary for different students. Live lectures should still be recorded. In some cases, I remember there was a particular student who really, who had problems trying to understand some of the accents of the lecturers, so they were kind of missing out on lectures. I will still go back to the video lectures so they are able to reduce the speed. I found the recordings very helpful because you can go back and say, look, I didn't quite understand that part and you can watch it over and over again. It really allowed me great flexibility um, to do the lectures at a time where I reached my potential to do them. For example, it wasn't always nine to five Monday to Friday that suited me. With my responsibilities at home as a single parent, with my daughter as well, it has been very hard to attend all the live lectures. Even if you are coming into college in person, life can get in the way, especially as a mature student, if you have responsibilities at home with kids. Even missing a lecture, you can miss so much information that's really valuable to your course. But at least if it's recorded, you can go back over it and you can still be at the same level with the rest of your peers in class. As well then, there's the side of like technology, so like, Say if there was a lecture, a recording, I would access it on my iPad and um, I can zoom in and out and pause the video if there's something I missed or replay it. So there's definitely pros to it. And at times in a lecture, if I felt my concentration was starting to go, I really liked being able to take a break, just maybe take a quick walk, get a cup of coffee and come back and be able to fully concentrate. Whether if I felt if that was in a lecture hall, I could have lost the rest of the lecture. That increased flexibility of lectures over the past year has facilitated just working um, and extracurricular activities. It, it reflects the reality that going forward, the workspace is going to be less rigid. The good thing about it is I think they've done quite a lot of it over the last two years, and that's utilizing the technology we have, making all lectures recorded, ensuring that lectures are properly utilizing Canvas. To be honest, I think if those two things were done, and it's, we know it's possible because it has been done, all students will benefit from that, especially students with disabilities. But like, I don't know, it, there's, there's no student who's not going to benefit from it. It's kind of one of those things if it's not hurting anyone and benefits a large proportion of students, why wouldn't we do it? And we've shown we have the capability of doing it. It, it, it quite really is a choice at this stage.